Hey, what's up everyone and welcome back to Public Freakout Videos. Tonight we take a look at more Entitled Karens getting triggered. Before we start, please go ahead and like this video and subscribe with notifications on. Okay, and up first tonight, the woman filming was hired to deliver groceries to Karen and her husband. The Entitled couple were not happy with the speed of which she was working and decided to call her out on it. The woman filming sticks up for herself, which makes the situation worse. Karen proceeds to get into the woman's face while her husband begins to insult her. Let's check it out. Okay, well, she's so driving. So, obviously, you're new to shift. Yes, I am. This is actually my first day. Thank you. It might be your last day, too. That's fine. And maybe next time you won't cuss us out. If you go through the front gate, I won't talk to you. Well, you shouldn't have to, anyway. Yeah, we do, because this is our neighborhood, not yours. Yeah, well, then I'm just delivering yeah, groceries. Well, the, the way you're supposed to. I will, I will. Gate, and don't be sensitive. Oh, what, what was that? I wasn't because I didn't even, first of all, sir, I never cursed you out. I was never disrespectful to you. You were so disrespectful to me. Yeah, you're just saying that because I'm recording you. And up next tonight, Karen has just crashed into the vehicle that is next to her while she was attempting to park her car. The owner of the vehicle has then gotten out of his car and requested Karen's insurance information. And then this is where things get wild. Karen starts to lose her mind and has a complete public freakout while she denies crashing into the other man's vehicle. Let's play the clip and take a look. Until you went up and kicked it, that is the problem. Look, about to hit that truck, yeah, that's coming. We have cameras, that's what I'm saying. I didn't hear your sh And then you're like, I'm gonna text my wife. My wife will handle this. Yeah. I'm not about to argue with you. I'm going to talk to you. But did she? No, she came swinging at me. You hit her face. No. no, no you no, slapped no. her. No, y'all go back to your racist. It's exactly what it is. It's I'm racist. Married you're to being a black man. I don't, I don't give a what you're married to. Look what you just said. Go back to your. Really? I'm American. I'm black. And if your husband's black, then Are you what the normal? No, yes. you're not. I'm American. I'm, I, didn't, I didn't leave the scene. I'm still here. If I didn't have no papers or nothing, I don't fucking car, bro. You kicked my car. You have to do it, boy. I got out the car. You hit the car. You pushed no. it. And up next tonight, we watch on as an employee manages to keep her cool while she gets abused from Karen. Karen is not happy with the customer service she is receiving at Starbucks and says it is because the employees know that she is a Trump supporter. The employee keeps her cool and tries her best to ignore the woman. Let's check it out. You're And this next Karen has just completed a DoorDash delivery and is extremely unhappy with how much the customer had tipped her for delivering his food. She claims that the restaurant she drove to to pick up his order was far away from the man's house and that the $8 tip that he had given her was not enough. Karen is now demanding that he give her more money. Let's check it out. How do you believe it? Um, no, I could speak to you actually. I'm sorry? I need to speak to you. I don't think you realize where they're coming from, so I need to speak to you. Where what's coming from? Where the food you ordered is coming from. I don't think you realize the distance that it's come from, because then you would never actually have given what you gave. So I think you can come and see face to face. Because I drove 40 minutes. I drove 40 minutes, and it was extremely far and I got it to you early so I don't think you realize where you work from Mother. I'm not I don't understand um you well I think from where from the restaurant that you ordered from do you realize how far it is do you realize you ordered from Carmack and you're in Smithtown that's a that's a 15 20 minute drive it's not. You need to try to drive it. I just drove it. It's 40 minutes. It's, it's 12 and a half miles. So I don't think you realize how far it is. So but I do think you have to pick up if you think it's that far? I, they don't let us know how far. So I think 
do you need to adjust your tip to make it right? How much of the tip? You gave an eight dollar tip. What the hell are you looking for? I gave an eight dollar Okay, I'm gonna bring the food back. I'm gonna bring the food back. Okay. In our next tonight, Karen is approached by security in the middle of a cafe because she is not wearing a mask. The employees tell her that they currently have a mandatory mask policy in place and tell her that she has to wear a mask just like everybody else. Karen refuses and demands that they make her coffee immediately. Let's play the clip and take a look. You just said I don't look at you like that. How do you see how I'm looking at you? Ex uh, excuse me, get it up, sir, if you don't want to serve her, let you go. If you want to serve her, serve her. If not, like I, let you go. Take her out. Ma'am, ma hello, ma'am. He's not gonna serve it, so please leave. Why? No, excuse me. Oh hello, hello, oh, no, no, no. That's what he is. Hello, hello, now you need to go. That's what he is. Excuse me. Edward, hello, ma'am, you I need to go. It. You heard it. Let me call the cop because this may have been, been very it disruptive. Doesn't, doesn't affect you. It doesn't affect no, you me that you're not gonna serve me because you're And up next, Karen is shopping at a Walmart without a mask and is confronted by a Walmart employee. She says that the Walmart currently have a mandatory mask policy in place, which is there to protect the employees and other customers that are in the store. Karen refuses to put her mask on and is told to leave. This is where things worsen as Karen proceeds to lash out at the employee. Let's have a look. You have to keep it over your mouth and nose, please. Okay, well, my yeah. doctor said do not do that. Or we can have you in here. Okay, then that is discrimination. This is for the safety of all of our employees and customers. I don't need you to follow me around, oh, I'm okay? Sorry. I know gonna... my way out. All right, I'm just making sure. Because that's going to get you hurt. I, I... Well, here you are. Yeah, I got to keep everyone safe in here, so. Yeah, the door's right there. I know my way out. Go ahead. Yeah, I know my way out. Okay. I'm sorry. Uh, you can't come in here anymore. I'm sorry about that. Good, because oh, I don't I'm... even live here. Okay. <coughs> And up next, our clip starts off with an employee telling Karen that he reserves the right to refuse service to any customer that does not have a mask on. This anti-mask wearing woman begins to lash out at the employee while she proceeds to go on a rant about how she does not need to be wearing one. She then goes on to tell the employee that she will be suing their company. Let's play the clip and check it out. Are you guys... I cannot hear her. I, I can't hear her. I, I reserve the right to refuse service if you guys don't have a mask on. You do? Put that on paper because I'm going to take this before a judge. I need your name. Nope, there's no law. There's no this law. Bull Shane, you this don't is, need to do this that. This is literally bull No is. law. What's the law? Are you serious? I want the number of the law. Okay, well, go, Give me go, the number of the, the law. Go ask the sheriff. I need, the a, I need a law. Go ask the sheriff in the front. Let's just go. Let's the sheriff in the front. There's the right over Let's there. just go. There is no law. Okay. Bull there is a law. All this people being lied to. Started. Let's There's go. There's no law. This is bull. We're gonna lie to all these people about wearing stupid masks. This is retarded. Look, at least you got my paid. This is retarded. Dude, this is so fucking stupid. They're taking all of our money and they want you to wear a fucking mask, dude. I was like, yo, I'll put my on my face, and he's like. He's like, he's like, oh, this is medical grade. And up next, a woman is confronted by a child's father after she defended herself against him. The woman claims that the child had started attacking her, and that is why she did what she did. The child's father then confronts her and tells her that she shouldn't be defending herself against an eight-year-old. The pair then continue to argue back and forth about who is in the right. Let's take a look. After he tried to hit me for the third time, I well, what the to hit you. So an eight-year-old kid? You're defending yourself to an eight-year-old kid? Are yeah. you serious? After he tried to hit me for the third time, you want to curse an eight-year-old kid out. That if he was a white kid, would you do that? Yes, would I you would. have said that to a little white kid? Absolutely. Absolutely. Where do you get this? Where do, you, where do kids get this barbaric information from that you could come in my community and talk to our kids like that? Because he's riding a motorcycle, a, 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 a toy. He's riding a toy in your community, right? Where do they ride bikes at? On the street. Okay, but guess what? This is our community. This is this is their playground. You're you understand? This is their playground. Excuse me? You're implying that I'm not a part of Yeah, y'all came here on the gentrification. This is where we born and raised all our life. This is our backyard. 
apologize. We, didn't, we don't have that to your job. neighborhood. I started spending money in your community. I started supporting your community. I am sorry that What you do money have to do with charity? And that is all we have time for tonight, guys. Thank you so much for watching another episode of Public Freakout Videos. If you have not done so already, please go ahead and like this video and subscribe with notifications on. With that being said, thank you again for watching and catch you in the next one.